All right, I think I got this thing back together. say hey every once in a while I go along and check these things these were loose these were loose let's see if they're tight I just found like four that weren't tight on mine I guess over time they just back back out just to make sure that they're not leaking or anything like that or they just pop out on you that would suck and you'd have a pinhole where all the water's coming in and you'd have to get your bubble gum out and plug it up day two of using the quest all right, day two. We're headed over sometime today to get my parts for my Outback, but it was uh, I had to order them from Fairhope. The sun is out; and it's raining. That's wild. My grandma used to say that means the devil's beating his wife with a frying pan. Snow legend. I don't know. That's what I, she always said. Woo! <laughs> That's nuts. That it's gone. Here and gone. That's cold weather right there. Also, if you, you like how I got my king rigs on the dashboard. Yeah, I'm, I just had to find a good place for it, and that's where it landed. I cruise by the boat ramp down here and see what's going on. This is the graffiti bridge. They repaint it every day. And this used to all be grass, like tall reeds, and they cut them all down. Now you got to worry about your truck rolling into the water. But there's a ton of people out here. Now I'm fixing to get me some sushi at my favorite sushi joint, all you can eat. It's Horizon. 10.95, all you can eat sushi. I'll put them under the table every time. Hello. Hi, Scouting a new fishing hole on the way to Pensacola Kayak and Sail. Scouting a new fishing hole. I believe this is Bayou Chico. There's the boat factory. I don't know the name of it, but they got a lot of boats. Harbor View Marine. Looks like they got a crowd today. They got a real crowd. I don't know what's going on up in here. I'm going up the big steps. Also, there's a dude rambling through their garbage can. Got the view. Got my stuff that came in, the part I ordered. From my outback. Got my new rudder pin, rudder pin, and the pulley wheel for my outback for the Mirage Drive. So I'm gonna fix it today, and I'll be back in the saddle tomorrow. So pretty excited about that. Turnaround time, one day. fish this afternoon while I was waiting on my part but as you can see it's raining look at it got the ore house over there it's the ore house you ought to check it out and then uh, at the bridge right there I was gonna like just paddle down through here and bounce the docks but I guess I'm not doing that today just came up out of nowhere it's the dog days of summer <sighs> all right mission complete I got the uh, little pulley and an extra rudder pin, $14.15. $14.15. I tell you what, my uh, my fishing trip got rained out. It totally got rained out. Now look at the weather, it's just fine. So I'm unpacking to pack back up tomorrow. But I'm unpacking because I can't take this on my truck everywhere I go. So I got everything loaded back up. I got to rinse it off. And I tell you, one of the deciding factors now, I think, for me, with a kayak is how heavy is it 
How heavy is the kayak? I don't want another battleship. The Outback is enough of a battleship for me. This thing right here is so light. Check it out. Just pick it up, snatch it around. I can throw it literally up there on the truck, just like from here, and just toss it. Joking. It's so much easier to handle, to maintain, to drag. And maybe it's just an experience thing that I feel more comfortable and confident in a kayak. Whereas, you know, I need, I think a lot of people need a lot more plastic underneath them, but I've, I've really grown accustomed to, I like a light kayak. That's what I'm saying, kayak manufacturers. But making kayaks so big and make them better and smaller, well, better and lighter. Use better, better uh, materials in them or something. Like 60 pounds. 60 pounds is the, is the number. 60 pounds or less. If you do it 70 pounds, it might be a... 70 pounds or less might be the number but anything high, heavier than an outback no bueno in my category no bueno in my opinion that's just my opinion though i mean look at that don't it look sexy sleek slender and we'll get the job done and i'm not repping quests there's other kayaks out there that are better than quests but i bought this one for 300 bucks so of course for 300 bucks it uh it is a good choice i mean the ocean kayak prowlers are awesome because they're thin and they're light and they get the job done cheaply and uh that's just why i always like recommending those but it, the revos you know they're they're light and they're fast efficient depends on what kind of water you're you're uh you're using it in if you're gonna be in choppy churny stuff yeah you need more plastic you need an outback or a pro angler but if you're in the flats or you're going btb and you're going to be in you know in good water hey something like this will do all day long learn to swim you're in a wet sport kayaking is a wet sport so that's just it is what it is it's the nature of the game kayak fishing is where surfing meets fishing just, a little, just throwing a little little thought out there. It's the thought of the day. That's what that was. It was the thought of the day. This thing is so dirty. Sometimes you just got to give stuff a bath, you know? All right, I'm, I'm out here trying to fix this. And, you talk, and I've actually got this camera sitting on two plant pots and a dog food container so so bear with me i can't find my tripod right now all right so we're fixing to do some hardcore restoration of the hobie mirage drive all right as you know from my last couple of vlogs i blew the pulley wheel off of the thing right all right i think i got this thing back together The metal pin is in your hand. Sit this in place. You sit the pulley down in there. Run the metal pin back in there. Tighten down the screw, and then just flop the the cables back on top of the pulley and adjust accordingly right here. And that's it. All fixed. Literally it took like two minutes to fix this thing. Just put the pulley in. Put the pin back in. Do the lock tight screw right here and you're done make sure the tension's proper and it is literally literally in the, as they say in the army too easy yeah just uh, if you have a problem just look it up on the hobie site it took me just a second and once i got all the allen wrenches out and get you an adjustable uh, wrench and get after it so it's pretty self-explanatory so see you later